Denver. Denver, Colorado. And uh, we're staying at the Hotel Indigo in downtown, downtown Denver. Denver. So we're right in, the, right in the middle of everything. And our view is amazing. We did pick a room with a view and Seriously, like, we're all surrounded. It's almost, it's like a 180 view. Yeah. Not quite 360, but almost a 180. <laughs> yeah. Of downtown Denver. <laughs> so we just wanted to give you a quick tour of our room and some features around the hotel. Yeah. So as you can see, it is bright, which I love bright bedrooms or hotel rooms. And as soon as we walked in, um, of course, we noticed the natural light. We really like this uh, painting up here, this wall art. Kind of. It's, it's a very stark contrast from what's out there, which is like big city, and this is like country life. So, I, I it's interesting. Maybe it's just to draw you back in, like, hey, Denver, Colorado, we have skiing, and you know, there's a lot of like outdoor stuff here too. Maybe that's why. Who knows? I'm just speculating. Um, and this is pretty too. This artwork right here, and they even put a little lamp over it. How cool is that? The details. All right. So the bed. We got two beds. And it already, it feels comfy. So I'm pretty excited to get a good night's rest. I've been having a little bit of issues on our trip getting a good night's rest. Um, it's either the bed or the pillow that doesn't quite do it for me. And it feels feel soft. Yes, yeah, so this feels really good. So hopefully I'll get a really good night's rest. And I really like that there's two USB plugs here and two outlets. And they even have two on the clock. So there's four USB outlets on this side. And then the guest on the other side, which would be Crystal, she has her own outlet as well, two USBs, two outlets. So they know <laughs> that you need those outlets and USBs because you know, we've got all these gadgets these days. We gotta like charge everything and we don't wanna have to get up and look for chargers. So get in bed, got my phone, gonna charge it, so. That's really easy. And let's see, clean IHG promise. So we are staying during the pandemic and they are you know, committed to cleanliness and it says rest assured. We are committed to high levels of cleanliness. That means clean, well-maintained, clutter-free rooms that meet our standards. Which yes, it is clutter-free. Like there isn't a whole lot of things lying around. Um, but they do provide a Keurig, which I was surprised over here. They got a curing machine, also some tea. That's nice. Oh yeah, I always like chamomile. And some creamer and coffee. So yeah, if they want coffee, we can brew it ourselves. And then there is the ice bucket there. Let's see. It's a tiny ice bucket. More uh, USB ports, chart um, outlets. Oh cool, it's like um, a metal one. I'm used to like plastic ones, so that's, that's nice. And there is a fridge here, which always comes in handy since we're on the road right now. We are constantly using the fridge to store our snacks and water and then refreeze our um, ice packets. So I'm really glad they have a fridge there. Nice accent chair, which I'm surprised Kuma has not jumped on this because she loves accent chairs. Like the past few hotels I've been to that have had accent chairs, she really wants to get on it. So what's going on, Kuma, you tired? You didn't notice the accent chair here? <laughs> you don't want to go on it, baby? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe later. Okay, so this is the entrance of our hotel room and um, there's a full length mirror here. So Candy's gonna love that. She loves full length mirrors. I mean, I do too, but not as much as Candy does. And inside is actually a little closet with um, an iron and uh, ironing board. Then here is the bathroom entrance. It's a barn door. Candy was like, make sure you mention the barn door. I'm like, I will. <laughs> so here it is. Let's enter the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. Um, there's a nice sink here. I love the, um, the countertop that they're using. The light, it could be a little bit lighter, have you brighter, you know? It's a little bit dim for a bathroom, but it is a very nice bathroom and they provide awesome toiletries, which is right here. Avita. Candy was, impre was impressed with this as well, and I am too. I, it actually looks like these are um, cork uh, tops, but they're not. Um, but yeah, so they got rosemary, mint, conditioner, shampoo, 
conditioner. Okay. And there's like this little can in here. Oh. Some vanity kits, yep. There's two vanity kits, and in them is Q-tips, nail filer, and cotton balls. So the toilet's in here as well, and then there is two big towels, two hand towels, and then two little towels on the sink over here. Stem shower is really nice. I like how they made it um, detachable. So you can detach this and also adjust this to whatever height you need. And that is the bathroom. So we got our masks on because it is during the pandemic and you don't want to spread germs. So, and they do, um, do they require it here? I believe they require yeah, so masks there's a here. sign that requires it. Like if you're in anywhere within the uh, hotel premises, inside you have to wear your mask, so. Yeah, so we're about to go out um, into the hotel lobby area and show some of their amenities. Um, we, the gym actually is right by our hotel room. We're in room 508. Yeah. Right. So they have sanitizing stations right before you enter the gym. And it says, we got our stuff in a space covering over your nose and mouth is at all times while in the hotel's public spaces. Okay. Oh, they also have uh, wet wipes to wipe off everything. I love that when gyms have that. Me too. This is a really big hotel this is, gym. Yeah, huge. They have towels for you to use right here. That's nice. Wow. Yeah. They, like the equipment looks brand new too. It's very clean. Very clean. I just love how spacious it is because that's one thing like during the pandemic, like we've seen hotels, like you know how most hotel gyms are really tiny. I feel like you can properly socially distance in here. It's quite wide open. Yeah, it's very big. I mean, they have TVs on their treadmills. It makes you want to work out. I know. And the bathrooms are in here too, and a shower. Wow. What? Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, it's a very nice hotel gym. We're like so impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Super impressed. Oh, up here too, so they have um, signs for social distancing on elevators. Limit used to no more than three people or one household. Keep six feet apart. And then in here, inside the elevator, they have the social distancing marks. So you know that I'm supposed to be here and Candy's over there. Hi! So right here is the social distancing markers. And then there's some plexiglass and also everyone is wearing masks. And then there's like a snack station. Uh, station. More sanitizing stations here. More signs. Properly spaced. And uh, more, this is when you enter the hotel, there's a hand sanitizer station and then another sign just to remind you to social distance. And this is their restaurant, I believe, but it's closed right now because of the pandemic. And so this is the entrance into the hotel. And before you enter, it says stop. No entry beyond this point without a face covering. And also IHG has their um, face covering info and sign and also the social distancing. So make sure you have your face covering over your nose and mouth because we've seen people that don't put it over their nose. Defeats the purpose, put it over your nose and mouth. Yep. Well, this is it. This is the end of our stay here at uh, Hotel Ingo Indigo, downtown Denver. Um, we had a really good stay here. What do you think? I slept finally mm -hmm. all through the night. It was a very comfortable bed. I slept really great too until Kuma woke me up at 4.45 a.m. She had to go to the bathroom all of a sudden. So, I mean, you know, you have to take your dog when they gotta go. Yeah, but the good thing about this hotel is that elevators work extremely fast. Mm -hmm. Like. So much so that one time I actually got caught in it while we're taking the, the suitcases out and it like 
before I can even um, hit that button to keep it open, it already like yeah. shot up. I'm like, oh my goodness, that was like, so fast. Handy. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, like I said, so fast that actually it, it actually helps the flow of traffic go so much faster because you can only have two people in the elevator at a time because of social distancing. We really liked actually this desk that they have here, the long desk. I use part of it for to lay out my suitcase, and I use the other part to do some work because we had to do some work on the side, um, and it was nice to look out at the view yeah. and do work at the same yeah, time. Yeah, because I'm used to like desks being in the corner of a room, so it's kind of like sad, and you don't really want to go there, so you end up using the laptop on the bed or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I actually liked this view too and using the laptop. Yeah, it was great. It's like, I usually don't talk about work desks, but this one is awesome. If you're here for business, I think it's yeah. a great location. It was also interesting too at night because of the uh, view we have, which is like 180 degrees, of like 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 just like huge window panels like to close the drapes was kind of interesting yeah. like we had to like, go around the whole room <laughs> to like close the drapes. I don't think I've ever done that. Yeah, that was the first time I've done that. Um, so that was that was interesting. It's a new experience. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the location is great too because uh, you're right by Union Station so it was like what, a seven minute walk mm -hmm. and they have a lot of options there for, for you to eat but since the pandemic is going on there were some places that were closed or they had certain rules where you only could order online and then pick it up. Um, there was a coffee shop that was open and then a sandwich shop as well. A couple of sandwich shop shops. The bar was open. Uh, but the bar was open only on the outdoors. You can order from indoors, but then they have an outdoor area where you can sit down. This might change over time because, you know, things are slowly starting to open up. So anyway, back to... Back to the <laughs> well. I liked the shower. Um, the pressure was just right. It was nice and hot. I was able to adjust the shower head. Um, I, and then also I can remove the shower head if I wanted to. The only the only thing is um, I didn't do my makeup in the morning in the bathroom because it was too dark in there. And the the ring light that they or the light that they have on the mirrors or, on, or like kind of on the sides, they don't really do much. So I actually because there's so much natural light in the room, I just sat at that nice this nice desk and did my makeup here. So that's why I always bring like an extra little mirror with yeah. me on my travels. I'm the opposite. Like yeah, it's dim in there. It's not that bright, but I'm okay with doing like. Makeup in there. I mean, I'm not as picky as Candy is, but of course she could do her makeup like way better than I can. Really? I just feel like it's normal. I just, I hate doing makeup in the dark because I feel like I end up putting up too much blush or something when it's dark and then I get in the car and I'm like, oh my god, I look like a clown. Overall, we really loved our stay here. Uh, they did a great job of doing their cleanliness and the social distancing and everybody wearing masks and having the plexiglass. So, um, yeah, I think uh, it's a great place to stay if you're in downtown Denver. Yeah, and all the staff was super friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not, we haven't been across one that was kind of in a bad mood because you know you run into those sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but no, everyone was super friendly. They loved Kuma. Oh, um, yes, because yeah. yeah, this is a pet friendly hotel, of course. So they were very nice to her. Kuma loved it. She loves the carpet. She loves the carpet. It's a good day. <laughs> um, she played with her toy. When she played with the toy, she yeah. knows that that's a sign that she likes it here too. Yeah, and there was a nice spot outside across the street where there's like a little bit of grass for mm -hmm. her to go, you know, do her business. <laughs> yep. So, um, but yeah, it's not. It's, I don't think it's a pain, like because no. we're in the city that you have a dog in a hotel. And it I also, worked out. Yeah, I also want to know. I did feel safe because I did have to go out um, about like 9:30 p.m. last night, and then I had to go out early this morning at like 5 a.m. So it was like dark both times, but I felt completely safe. I didn't feel like I was in danger at all. So just yeah. to let you know, which is always kind of a worry when you're in, like in a downtown area <laughs> yeah, to go out late at night. Yeah, because she was like, "Are you okay? Like whatever." Right because Kuma's <laughs> not exactly a guard dog. <laughs> She's tiny. So. But she, she has some vibe to her. Yeah. <laughs> She'll guard me if she needs to. <laughs> okay, well, if you enjoyed this review, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.